nature's deadliest organisms disable our immune systems. I started complaining of just having a runny nose, and I could tell that she was kind of sniffling and had some congestion going on. I thought she had a cold. Just kind of you know, nothing out of the ordinary. She was saying that her head felt heavy and that she was having difficulty, you know, holding her head up. That's when I realized that something's not right. You know, that there was something going on. Doctors fear it's a sign that whatever is crippling Lacey has now reached her diaphragm. They said, you need to leave. Lacey's dying. We've got to get her stabilized. There was a very bright white line going all the way down the middle of her spinal cord. The doctor explained to us that that white substance was infection and inflammation. Lacey was diagnosed with acute flaccid mellitus caused by a strain of the enterovirus. There are more than a hundred different strains of enterovirus, but the one most associated with AFM is the little-known enterovirus D68. Enterovirus D68 is known for causing cold-like symptoms and usually infects the respiratory system. But inside Lacey, the virus is attacking her central nervous system, causing paralysis. Very few viruses can penetrate the central nervous system, but enterovirus D68 has the unique ability to not only get into the central nervous system, but actually penetrate and take over the cells that control movement. The scary thing about enterovirus is that it's actually one of the most common viruses in the world. In fact, anyone who's been to a daycare or a school in the fall has probably been exposed to it. But like any virus, there are different strains. Some of them are worse than others. Enterovirus D68 is one of the most dangerous. Once it finds a vulnerable host, it can quickly become deadly. 